pray, let God help you. Because there are schools, and the schools have level one. You know school, when you finish learning one, two, three, what will you learn? A, B, C. Then after A, B, C, you now do two plus two. Then now the next level, three times three. So all the contours are in the marriage. You have not yet seen the person you have married well. That's why some of them, when there is an argument, they will tell you, don't let me bring the other part of me. You, this is gossip. Don't let the gossip come out of me. <laughs> yeah. My grandson, we will close very quickly so you play the drums. So wait for me, I'll finish right now and you play. You are a very good drama. Uh -huh. I know you, you are good. So let's hurry up so he can play. Okay, can we close now? Yes, Did we answer every question? Yes, somebody yes. asked a question that you are marrying somebody and the person say he doesn't like this thing. And that your partner or your, sorry, your spouse or your wife keep on saying, I don't like this, I don't like this. But that is what you also like or you are addicted to it. That's our last question. What do you do? Did I answer, did I repeat the question yes, well? Yes, yes. Where is that person who asked the question? Biggie. 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 Okay. This is my, he's my last born. So he cannot sit in one place for a long time. If you sit, he must be talking. Begin. So your question, the last question. Your question is, what about if there is a habit that you like doing and your wife or your fiancé says he does not like it? What do you do? So can I answer you now? Which is our last uh, question. Okay. Did, do you remember we started by saying marriage is sacrifice? That love is sacrifice. You remember? So if you love somebody, you should be willing to do what? Sacrifice for him or her. So yours is that, ah, I like chilled beer. <laughs> and especially when you box it with cool Coca Cola with some ice in it. But, darling, because I love you, I will sacrifice this thing for you. That makes me But if the marriage does not allow sacrifice, I may advise your partner to run for his life or her life. Because we all must sacrifice. Don't go off the line. In case you are an African woman, especially a Nigerian like me, that you do not like spaghetti, <laughs> and you, 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 you like to eat African food, and you are married to an Italian who also can't eat your food, please sacrifice and be tasting the man's food. It will cause the love to work well. Sacrifice is the gift we have in love. And so let your love go with what? Sacrifice. Hello, somebody. All right. So you are moving the chest and the noise is going into the, the recording. But we haven't finished. We want to stand up and bless even those online and prophesy the success of their marriage. Amen. Amen. Now say after me, Lord. Lord. Father God, Father God, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, I want my marriage to work. I want my marriage to work. Help me, help me to remember, to remember everything I have learned. Everything I have learned. Help me, help me to practice, to practice what I have learned. What I have learned. Now, to those who are yet to choose marriages, help me help to make me the right choices. To make the right choices. Let me prioritize your will. Let me prioritize what your will. you God has for me. What you God has for me is what I will take. Is what I will take. And one of the things I want to say in conclusion, there was a time I was encouraging us that 
If you want to marry by prophecy, you want to marry somebody because God said it. In marriage, prophecy is not what really matters. Studying the person before going into marriage is important because even if the marriage came by prophecy, you still have to work it. Are you listening to me? Yes. I believe that my marriage was by very powerful prophecy. But when I entered in the first two years, I was ready to pack and go. And I now understood it that God is not going to come down to bind any devil in the marriage. As a matter of fact, the devil is your own self that you have to control and bind. So, marriage by prophecy or no prophecy, all can work if you decide to work it out. I now want to end to pray for you to make a decision. Tonight, when you go home, call your partner. Ask that person, just in case you are at the edge of divorce. Those listening to me online, by the grace of God, we are okay here. But in case you are at the edge of divorce, you will want to go and ask your partner, Darling, are you willing for us to work it? If the partner says yes, then try. Because divorce is not an answer. Divorce is not a solution. Character is the solution. You don't divorce in a marriage and succeed. Except that the person is not willing to change character. So go back and ask, are you willing now, don't point finger on that person. You rather will be saying the things that you think you have done that is not okay and that you are going to work on. And the moment you start it, everything will be fine. Am I communicating? So hear me the word of the Lord. Somebody is listening to me. Somebody is crying in a couch. I can see now. And your tears is that you have felt disappointed in the man that you thought was everything to you. God has not failed you yet. Just take time and ask yourself, what are the things that I have been doing that has made this man like this? And also to the man, your wife has changed a lot. When you are asking your wife to come to bed, she is very busy. Maybe watching TV doesn't want to jump into the bed. It is because something has gone wrong. As a man, be the first, as the head of the family, to tell your wife, Darling, I know I have offended you in many ways, but please forgive me. Let's try it. Once you are willing to work the marriage, the marriage will work. But if the partner says, I would go on, then you must let it go. Based on adultery. If it's not by adultery, please stay in and keep managing. The only reason why Jesus is permitting adultery or the Bible, he talks about it as what? Permitting divorce. Permit, per, permit, permitting divorce is based on what? Adultery. And it's because the adultery is a situation that a man cannot manage, especially the men. Women can, but men cannot man manage. So that is the reason why. If you are in abusive marriage, please, if you are married to a person who beats you up for no reason, please, instead of calling the police to come and interfere, go for assistance. You go and say, I need help for my marriage. We need counseling. Some things are not okay. Go for some lessons. Don't just let the marriage keep making you call the police. We have a situation in Italy right now. If you call the police at your marriage, the police may ask you, what nationality are you coming from? If you call some of the nationalities, the police will say, you can kill yourself. When you finish, I'll come and carry you. Why? Because they are tired of the phone calls. 
So let us try our best to allow Christ to give us repented hearts. The first thing you need to repair your marriage is repentance. Learn to say sorry. Learn to say thank you. And learn to take up your duty. If you did not cook for him, and he is doing the cooking, resume back to work. If you are not comforting him in the bed, resume back to work. Don't use fasting to punish your neighbor. Some men and some pastors and some women of God can be fasting for 40 days just because they are running away from attending to their partners in bed. That's hypocrisy. Don't use my Jesus to excuse duty. If it's a 40 days fasting and you are a woman and your husband doesn't agree on the fasting, that the fasting should not come into the bedroom, you are not supposed to do the fasting like that, which means you will be breaking the fasting in the evening and permitting him or stay in the spirit, but you must satisfy the man. Please, this is very important because Christians are taking advantage of this fasting of the pain and punishing each other with it. Stop fasting forever. It's Jesus who died. If we want to crucify you now, you may run away from the tree. So allow marriage to work and don't pretend and use Jesus to cover up. We want to pray now. I pray for you Amen. as you are listening. Amen. I pray for restoration Amen. for any crack that is in the marriage. Amen. The Lord God who has given us mortar and cement to patch walls give you the anointing to do the patches. Amen. Cover up any breakages and any damages that has happened in your marriage. For with God, all things are possible. And for those who are praying to make a decision from today, I want you to know that sex is not the way you will use to do the marriage. Learn each other, study each other, communicate and discuss the things you want to do in the future before you go into the marriage. When you occupy yourself with sex, you will now marry before you now want to know tomorrow because it's always sex. So try your best to refrain from fornication Amen. and get married. And then now you are okay. Somebody said they married, a man married. And when he married, that night, the man realized that the woman was not what she said she was. And so the man asked that the dowry should be retained because the woman is not what she said she is. Please, if you are a woman and you are not a virgin, don't lie. You may not be able to tell the man that you have slept with 100 men, but you can be able to let the man know that something serious happened to you and therefore you are no more a virgin. Uh -huh. You don't need to narrate everything about your past because it is not too necessary. God did not create us to have our eyes at our back. We move forward. So narrating 20 men that you slept with is not what you are to do in the new marriage. But try to speak the truth. Don't lie and tell the man how a wonderful virgin you are so that the man will be approaching you hoping that things will be tight. And then when he took you to the room, it was a serious cooking pot where you can turn the, uh, the pandemic stick in all directions without any feelings. May God forgive you. If you have lost your elasticity so that the place is bigger and too much, you can also go for medical assistance. They can help you. And you can use some things to heal yourself. But speak the truth. Speak the truth because love is based on truth. The Lord bless and keep you. Amen. The Lord shine his face on you. Amen. The Lord make it well for you. Amen. The Lord be gracious to you. Amen. The Lord cause his countenance to be upon you. Amen. I bless you. 
in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. And let the church say, Amen. 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 In, in Jesus' name we pray. Let there be fire in your life.